In today's video, I'll be running through the five most common airport taxi scams as well as sharing real examples from busy airports around the world. Definitely stick around until the end so you know exactly what red flags to look out for to avoid falling for these scams on your next trip. The first scam that every traveler should know to look out for is the classic fake taxi scam. This scam involves someone impersonating an airport or taxi service official that tricks travelers into using their fake taxi service. These fake taxis often don't have a meter or they come with a rigged meter leading to an inflated fare that could be up to five times the standard rate. The trouble is that despite knowing you are being overcharged, you may find yourself cornered into paying the inflated fare. This is often due to the taxi driver's intimidation tactics such as threatening to keep your luggage hostage or using aggressive behavior to pressure you or even threatening to call the police, which can be quite scary when you are in a foreign country and possibly also facing a language barrier. I personally fell for this scam the first time that I flew into Paris alone. Someone dressed in an official looking uniform told me that I was at the wrong airport exit to catch a taxi to the area of the city that I wanted to go. And then he directed me to a new gate where another set of taxis were waiting. His role in the scam was to funnel tourists to the new area where this group of fake taxi drivers would then take over. I knew something was off when the driver quickly grabbed my luggage and rushed me into his car. But it all happened so fast and suddenly I was trapped on the highway. He did have a taxi badge and a meter app on his phone was displayed. When we arrived at my hotel, the meter was showing that I owed 200 euros for a ride that I later found out should have been 50 euros. I did get extremely lucky as a staff member from the hotel that I was staying at noticed there was something off and came out to help. I believe I ended up paying 70 euros for the ride, which in my opinion was a win and I was honestly just happy to be out of the vehicle with my luggage in my hand. I'm still not a fan of the Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris as it always seems to be a chaotic and overwhelming experience, but they have done a great job at making the fixed price for a ride to different zones in Paris very clear to help travelers avoid being overcharged. Unlike another extremely popular airport that is notorious for taxi scams, but I will dive into that as we get to number four. The second airport taxi scam that every traveler should be aware of is the taxi swap scam. It involves a two-person team where one person acts as the taxi driver and the other as a passenger. The scammer acting as a passenger will approach you claiming that the driver doesn't accept cash and will ask if you can pay with your credit or debit card and then they will give you their cash in return. If you agree to help out, your card is then swiped through a tampered terminal and the PIN is captured. Meanwhile, the fake driver stealthily exchanges your card for a counterfeit one. They will then use the stolen card and your PIN to take money from your account as soon as possible, sometimes even before you realize that your card was swapped. Not good. In any situation, if a merchant asks for the POS terminal back during a transaction, always remove your card first. It's also smart to set daily withdrawal limits, so even if your card is compromised, there is a limit to how much can be taken out of your account each day. The next airport taxi scam is the misinformation scam. The easiest way to avoid a taxi scam would be to instead use a ride-sharing service like Uber, Lyft, or Grab. Unfortunately, taxi drivers know that this is the easiest way to avoid being scammed. Taxi drivers may falsely claim that the rideshare services like Uber are unavailable in the city or that they are not allowed to do pickups and drop-offs at the airport. The goal is to discourage you from even opening up the app and riding with their taxi service instead. It's unethical, but even official licensed taxi drivers could pull this stunt in an effort to get more customers, even if they aren't intending to overcharge you. The fourth transportation scam is going to get you when you try to avoid being scammed by pre-booking your transportation from the airport to the hotel. Booking your transportation from the airport in advance might seem like a safe option, but there are definitely a few scams to look out for. One common scam involves fake websites that appear legitimate. You'll book and pay online, you'll receive a confirmation email, but then the ride never shows up. The second scam also happens after you've booked and prepaid for either a private vehicle or a shuttle online. When you get to the airport, a seemingly official person will lie and tell you that your shuttle left without you. They may then guide you to a taxi offering a good rate. Another variation of this is where they tell you that you missed the first shuttle, but then they guide you to a new shuttle service. 
They'll suggest that you pay again and promise a refund for the missed shuttle. Unfortunately, the second shuttle is often part of the scam, completely unrelated to the company that you originally booked with, leading to a double payment and no refund. If you can't independently find the ride that you pre-booked, be very careful on who you ask to direct you. I spent four months living in Playa del Carmen and heard a dozen variations of different transportation scams that travelers fell for at the Cancun airport. These scams can be particularly challenging to avoid as they sometimes involve not just impersonators, but actual official airport staff. And it's not just Paris or Cancun where you will find a fake taxi service. These taxi scams target tourists and are common at airports worldwide. If you or someone you know has ever fallen for one of these taxi scams, definitely let us know about it in the comments. You may end up saving someone else from falling for it too. The next scam that every traveler should know about is the random bonus fee scam. I need to come up with some better names for these. This scam involves taxi drivers imposing unexpected additional fees even if you previously agreed on a flat rate or they are using a meter. Drivers may claim extra charges for luggage, nighttime rides, or made up tolls that significantly increase the fare. Some drivers may even insist on payment in local currency, offering to exchange your money at a poor rate. Others may use tampered meters that run up the fare quickly. This is increasingly common with scam taxi drivers that may have an app on their phone as opposed to an official meter. And even if the meter is working correctly, a driver may take an extra long route to drive the fare up as high as possible. You can use a map application on your own phone to track your route and prevent being driven in circles. Dealing with a taxi scam is especially tough once you have already accepted the ride, and sometimes arguing the price could put you in a dangerous situation. The key to staying safe would be to avoid getting into one of these sketchy taxis in the first place. Here are three easy ways to reduce your chance of falling for a taxi scam. The first is to never accept taxi offers from individuals inside the airport. Targeting you inside the airport or just outside the doors of the airport is a common tactic of unlicensed taxis trying to grab you before you reach the official stand. It's also a good idea to research and plan out your ride from your airport to your hotel before you leave for your trip. Be familiar with the use of ride sharing apps in the area, understand standard fare rates, and learn about any flat rates for different city zones. Also know what the official taxis look like. For example, in Paris, all legitimate taxis have lighted signs on their roofs. If you are unsure of where to go, always follow airport signs to the official taxi stand or visit the airport information desk if you have any questions. Before entering any taxi or shuttle or private vehicle, I will also take a picture of the vehicle with the license plate included. I'll send it to a friend right away just in case the driver tries to get me to delete it later. I'm not sneaky about it either. I do like to make sure that the driver sees I am taking this photo and knows that I have shared their information. This way, if anything does go wrong, you have the driver's details to report them. Unfortunately, taxi scams are not the only scams out there, and I will put a video on the screen now as well as link it in the description with the five most common sneaky tourist scams that you will definitely want to know about before your next trip. I'll see you in that video and safe travels. Bye.